in a lot of stuff. Oh. All right. We are back, and we have something. We got uh, Jake Valentine on Teamer Energy and John Douglas on Esper Godfarer's Gift. You recognize John Douglas from his sultry voice that you can hear on Tuesday Night Modern? Yep, Tuesdays. Okay. He also did the uh, PPTQ. Okay, gotcha. And he's on Godfarer's Gift. Esper Godfarer's Esper. Gift. Esper Godfarer's Gift. He's been playing this deck for a while. Yes. Jake's been playing Teamer Energy for a while. I do know that this is the deck that John won his PPTQ with. So he has at least has some experience with the deck. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, There's also a deck you have a decent amount of experience with. This is a matchup we have a decent amount of experience with. Yeah, a uh, lot. We've played a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have. On both sides, really. Honestly. Um, I mean, the reason you play S for Godfather's Gift is because it has draws that Team Energy is not able yeah, to interact they with. Really can't beat it. We'll see... I don't know Jake's abrade count in the main deck. That's going to be something that we're going to really need to look at here. It's probably anywhere from... Be it's between one and two. Um, yeah. Like most of the lists. Yeah, I've been up to three recently, and I've been actually liking it a lot. Okay. Uh, it's just like... Just having turn two interaction is so important in this format. And so just being able to kill like a cub, snake, servant on turn two, as well as having the added ability to get rid of things like gate the afterlife godfair's gift mm -hmm. primal amulet if you need to who knows yeah so we're gonna see here a no turn two play from jake and a seeker squire for john putting a walking bliss into the graveyard creature count is on one, one. it's on one i'm gonna see a rover finder here yeah that does not seem very good that trades for a two drop yeah it does that's, that's not where you want to be. And then you're really just kind of helping out John Douglas's yeah. uh, game plan. Or what I think John would rather do is it trades for a champion of wits. Oh, yeah. We'll see, it, and I'm pretty sure Jake is not playing any main deck Magnus Brace. He hates that card in Teamer. Does he? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I like it. I mean, I do too, especially when I play against Earthshaker Kenris all day long. Yeah, I don't play it in main deck right now. I do play it in my sideboard, but it's not something I'm against playing in the main deck. Yeah. I do know that Jake plays one copy of Lightning Strike in his deck. Oh, okay. he he wanted two man interaction and a per, like apparently likes the gotcha value. Uh, I don't. I'd play in a braid. I would play in a braid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and see, we're gonna see the Roker Finder trade. I don't know why you take that trade there. Yeah, I'm not. I w I would not want to put a creature in his graveyard. Like, at least, at least the Champion of Wits can't get through the. Uh, the Whirler Virtuoso. Yeah, that Jake is about to play. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like really like that trade either. Yeah. But it, I mean, the play's oh. kind of the play's kind of established right now. Yeah. I will say though that Jake can probably infer that John does not have a Gate of the Afterlife in hand because I'm pretty sure John would have played it. Or, yeah. Uh, he would have played that instead of the Champion of Wits. Yeah, I would agree. You want to try to get as much value with, out of that a card as you can. That's one of your biggest ways to win the matchup. Is it's a lets you get your Godfrey's gift. Yep. And b if for some reason you never can get a Godfrey's gift with it, it's just a nice value engine because there's gonna be a lot of creatures trading in this matchup. And it's just churning through your deck. You're gaining life. Mm -hmm. You're establishing that advantage too. Uh, looks like he just has land, like a couple lands and some duders in his hand. He has another champion of wits. He's yeah. got like a kite sail freebooter and a minister of inquiries. I he doesn't have the engine going just yet. Yeah. Do we know is John on Esper? Is he just on straight blue black? I think most of the lists are playing like straight blue black, and then they'll have like four aether hubs, and then they'll play some number of concealed courtyard. Okay, maybe like a one of uh, glacial fortress. I have seen lists that are running around that just is. Like, eschew the entire trying to cast my angel's plan entirely. Yeah. So, and we'll see over the course of the match if he ever finds a white land, but we're going to see a dragon here from Jake. Yeah, we are. And the glory will be brought. Okay. And I know he has another glory bringer in his hand as well. Mm -hmm. So, so knowing you have another glory bringer and knowing what John is trying to do, would you exert there? Yeah, absolutely. You wouldn't? Yeah, like, you have another glory bringer in your hand. Um, you have a harness lightning too. See, I just want to 
get him dead as quick as possible. So I want my glory bringer to untap. And I don't want him to have another creature in the graveyard to potentially like activate his gate sooner. Like the two one body isn't that relevant. I guess they could both of them could have traded for the Whirl of Virtuoso. Yeah, but you yeah I uh, think you're okay with that. I just want to hit for with Glorybringers for three turns in a row. I think we know that uh I think Jake can pretty much infer that John Douglas does not have another uh, like a gate in his hand. But this is turning a gate into a live draw. I mean it is. It was already a live draw prior to that. Like it's one, two, three, four, five. We have creatures. a Gonti. Ooh, I like that card was always good. But yeah, no, if I'm Jake, I don't think I really... Oh, there's an Abraid. <laughs> there's the Abraid. <laughs> Does John... So if I'm John and there's not an actual good card, I think his options are a Longtusk Cub, a Braid, oh, uh, a Land, a Rogue Refiner. I think the Rogue Refiner is better than the Abraid. Like, the Abraid does he, He's taking the Abraid. Is he? Yeah. All right, like, it doesn't really... It doesn't hit much. Like, it's not going to stop Glorybringer. And that's the legitimate issue you have right now. Yeah. Is Glorybringer. Like, that's the thing, like, that's the reason I don't like the exert there from Jake. A Glorybringer, with another one in hand, that is just a three... Let's, if you attack with the Glorybringer that turn, untap, play your other one, attack with both, and then you've lethal on board next turn. Okay. So now he can't do that because the Glorybringer is exerted, and it gives John more outs into drawing. Like, if he just draws, like, g g like Gate to the Afterlife here, I think it's just... I mean, he's going to make two really tokens, good. and he's going to attack him for eight anyway, so it's pretty much almost the same thing. But, it well, I mean, J John can block the Whirl of Virtuoso. Like, you can't attack with the Whirl of Virtuoso here. No, I'm saying, like, if he can play the other Glory Ring and exert it and kill that Gaunti. Yeah, but now Gate is just a live out. I mean, it's still, it was live regardless. I think this is, I think this is fine. Like, I thought you needed seven. No, you need six. You need six? Okay. Yeah. So, like, regardless. Well, if that champion wasn't in the graveyard... I mean, it would yeah. not be live. It would not be live. I mean, you're right. I, 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 I kind of hope John just draws Gate to the Afterlife and just wins, and I that just was, get to feel vindicated. That was a miss. Oh, uh, no, I guess it wasn't a miss. He didn't have another black source. He had fatal. He has Fatal Push in his hand. Uh, yeah, just so, a bunch of dudes. No Gate. Yeah, he's got some Kite Cell Freebooters. Uh, we'll get to pull out the Harness Lightning. That's going to take a Harness Lightning. And I think he's got it. another one that's going to take another Harness Lightning. Okay, so what? But yeah, then, the, then Jake untaps, exerts, and gets it back. The harness lightning, harness lightning is the other one. Yeah. So yeah, this game's over. And this is this is the issue with the Esper Godfarer's gift deck is that sometimes if you don't draw Gate to the Afterlife in this version, it's not like yeah. the Turbo one. Then you're not. You're not doing that much. Yeah, you're playing yeah. a lot of really not great creatures. He draws the other harness lightning. I think. Uh, yeah. Just harness lightning this uh, kite sail freebooter. Harness Lightning, the Kite Sail Freebooter. You get your other Harness Lightning. You get your other but Harness Lightning. And then it you, no, you make a point of using the Harness Lightning you just drew to kill the other one. Oh, okay. For the BM value. Okay, well. Oh, no. Jake, Jake's not doing it right. That's okay. That's okay. I would just exert for no reason. Just yes. exert for well, no Well, no, you can't. You don't have a target. Oh, damn. That's why you, you, you could also not cast the Harness Lightning just to exert. Actually, that might be the correct play. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. John's dead, correct? Is he not dead? Uh, does he... Oh, there's the Abraid. Oh, well, it still doesn't it's do anything. It's still... Does he have a Fatal Push in hand? He does have a Fatal Push. Okay. So he kills that. Make it. I would make a token in response. Oh, yeah, definitely. Make a token in response. Okay. Can we draw gates? Go to one. Gate doesn't even do it because he has the harness lightning hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He drew ballista. Ballista he does not do it. Jake oh. is at a life total higher than two. Yep. And he's staring down the face of Double Glory Bringer. Is there a hostage taker in his hand? Mm, even then. No, but you do got to play the kite cell freebooter to get that extra information. Yeah. To know. Don't, don't scoop. Don't scoop, John. Or is that a oh, fair oh. All right. Game two. Um, I, I will say that it is actually correct to play the guy. I'm not, like, joking there. No, you, it absolutely You is. could see, like, a scare of God of Vraska or something, and then you're like, oh, he's on four color. Yeah, no. You're, you're absolutely correct. But I think these two players know yeah. each other to know that Jake doesn't deviate from no. just straight-up teamer. Um, and, again, if you're John, you just got a little bit unlucky there. You kind of yeah. turned through your deck. I think there was a point there where he could play the Minister of Inquiries. 
Yeah, that would be pretty great. Although that really doesn't help you find gates. It doesn't. It doesn't. But um, <laughs> what he really needed there was like, a, obviously a gate or like a trophy mage or a scarab god. Yep, scarab god would have been okay. It would have been would have gone back bounced by adventure. harness lightning a couple times. Yeah. Oh, like Jake just had a double glory bringer draw. Yeah, and that's honestly what Teamer needs to win this matchup. Yeah. The only times I have ever beaten Esper Godfrey's gift while I was playing Teamer is whether I had like a draw like Jake had and a draw like John had, where John's not doing a whole lot and Jake just has double glory bringer to finish yeah. off really quickly, or like I got lucky in the classic, he just never played a third land in the match. Or, 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 or. John Douglas could just play a turn three gate to the afterlife and just win. Well, I was talking about how ways Jake can win the oh, match. Oh, we know how Jake can win. We just witnessed yeah. <laughs> that. John just wins this match by, oh, gate to the afterlife. You don't have a braid? All right. Yeah. Ballista, ballista, ballista for zero. Filter, filter, filter. Get an angel. Attack you. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then just clap your hands and yeah. You just kind of clap your hands, sit back, and uh, let the angels do their work. Yep. Exactly. Uh, oh. Can you hear me? Yeah. We're having a f few mic problems here. Yeah, I keep eating it. We need a new mic desperately. So, if you want to help us get there, do our Patreon page. If you like what you see here. Way to bring that around. <laughs> yeah, guys. You can absolutely. definitely support us on Patreon or you can subs subscribe to us on the Twitch on our Twitch channel. Yeah, absolutely. I'd tell you the link, but you're here so you should see it. Yeah. On the top of your screen. <laughs> Yeah, helps us out, helps the stream out. We get better. We don't talk into tin cans with uh, pieces of string. Um, oh no, that's not changing. Oh, okay. So never mind. Tin, we tin are, we are, we are not upgrading the mic. Yes. I lied. Tin can is the pinnacle of audio technology. Yeah, he's right. We can improve the string though. We can get some <laughs> of that like triple roped stuff. Sound quality is so much better. Yeah, we're basically using a butcher's twine right now. <laughs> so please help us upgrade our string, guys. <laughs> Listen, if it was up to me, I'd, I I would have bought, you know, a mic six months ago. But here we are. I just, I sit on my pile of gold coins at home, that I, a pool that I dive into, like Scrooge McDuck. That would hurt. Scrooge McDuck did it. Scrooge McDuck's also an animated character. I'm pretty sure, like, Mistbusters tried, like, swimming in a pool of gold coins. And I'm pretty sure all they ended up with was, like, a concussion. Well, you're not supposed. I mean, you don't dive into it. Obviously, he's a duck. <laughs> he's more buoyant. He's got that. Build, <laughs> he's got the bill to part the coins. Clearly, clearly, Scrooge McDuck had it a lot easier than a human ever would. Uh, yeah, blue white Godfair's gift is more popular, considering it, it got second at the Pro Tour. This most recent Pro Tour. I will say Esper is better in the mirror, you know, or like against the blue white deck. Blue white, yeah, it has more creatures. It has hostage taker. Hostage taker's a big one. Yeah, hostage taker is a big one. The thing that ha the blue white has going for it is that it can power out a, a Godfrey's gift a lot quicker. That's gen true. <laughs> generally, yeah. It's all blue white is also a lot worse against Scarab God though. Yeah, that's the only kind of gray variant. So hopefully we'll s we can see sevens. John does have a gate, gate in hand. I think this was double angel. He does. So we're going to look to discard those whenever we can. Yeah. Looks like he has kind of a slow hand. Yeah, I saw uh, two, at least two lands, Double Angel, Gate, Scarab God, and something else. Mm -hmm. He's going to keep it, and I believe Jake is as well. Okay. So we're off to the races here. Races, air quotes. Uh, Jake does have a copy of Death Gorge Scavenger in his hand, so he can maybe start working on these angels, but we do have a Seeker Squire here from John Douglas. Okay. It's another another gate. gate. I, I think if he had... I don't think he has the third land. Because I think if you did have the third land, you consider keeping that to play around oh, the yeah, raid. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But he does not have the third land here. And Jake does have the abrade. Oh. So if... But John did not draw the third land. So we'll, what we're going to see here is oh, Jake... John has missed his energy trigger. Supposed to have did four he, energy. Did he miss his energy trigger? Yeah, he's supposed oh. to have four energy. That is a thing. Jake doesn't miss his energy triggers. No. See, Jake, I would have liked just slamming that uh, Death Gorge Scavenger in his hand, get to work on those creature that creature count. I would agree with that. And then you can exile. Oh, is that another Braden that Jake just drew? Yeah. Ugh. Trade off here. 
play Death Court Scavenger. Profit. Uh, I expected John to trade there. Jake seems like he's in fast forward because he has no self control. He he has no self control. He's also just a very like quick player in general. And he's like that in real life too. He's a yes. little he's a little spastastic. That's why we like him. Yeah, Jake is fast hands. Actually, yes. you know what? Let's get that name changed. We'll change that name. If we if we put Jake Valentine up next time, we're just gonna call him Fast Hands. Yes, Fast Hands Jake. Oh, uh, so oh, is that another angel? <laughs> is that another <laughs> angel and a Godfair's gift for his oh. like last two draws? That is not what you want to see when you are stuck on two lands. Gross. So what I mentioned though, in between games, one of the ways Jake wins this matchup is John never playing a third land. Yeah, and that's that's what's that's what's happening right that's now. That's what's happening. Yeah. Do we have a. Uh, uh, we're gonna bring some glory here. No, no, no glory. He he can he can bristle his hydras though. I like so. I like it's also rustling. I like rustling his jimmies. Yeah. I don't. Uh, does he have a glory bringer in his hand? I think. I don't think have, he does. Uh, he doesn't. I think he has like Whirler Virtuoso. Is Whirler Virtuoso a braid? Death Court Scavenger, bristling hydra. Yeah. Another forest. I would just play it. Are you gonna play it? He's gonna play the botanical sanctum. Okay. Just holding off on that. And this Death way, Gorge. he can still leave up Scavenger. a braid. Oh, is that a land? That was a land. Comes it comes play. into play tapped. Okay. All right. All so, right. pass it up. Yeah. So I think the sequence we're gonna see here is: is Jake gonna braid this end of turn? I think so. That's aggressive, but I kind of like it. Let, let, like wait. now, if John just taps out for, I mean, you're gonna put him on a two turn clock. You gotta make. Yeah. You gotta make some tokens. You just make two thoppers here. Hit yeah. him for seven, nine. Put him to Like, what does Jake eight, legitimately eight, have seven? to worry about here? Five. I can math. It's five. What? Hey, your opponent's stuck on two. What, is he, what does he legitimately have to play around right here? Bantu's Last Reckoning. Okay, I said legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> what is he legitimate? Um, um, I don't know. There's even a coup. Yeah. So, I, I guess that was a thought. Like, if... He, like, if John somehow gets a gate. He can wants to have enough energy to like coup the angel or something. But I could just coup that gate. I don't understand why we're unless you want. He's playing. Oh, he's probably gonna play two drop into three drop here, or four drop into three drop. Sorry. Yeah. And God. now John cannot just he can't just tap out for the gate. So, John, do you have Bantu's last reckoning? Please, please, please. have Bantu's last reckoning. That's a champ. Oh. oh, he's got an island. Yes. All right. So here we go. So what John does? Yeah, John's at six. I don't think he plays anything. He plays time he's walk. All right. He's gonna play time walk. I thought we're talking about legitimate ways. And then he scoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think he has three angels yeah, like, and a Godfarer's gift. Yeah, in his hand. I don't think it's even. Godfarer's gift. Three angels. Gate. Scarab. Got hostage taker. There's nothing. There's there's no out. Yeah. Jake. Even if. John could play hostage taker and block and ma like survive at like one or something. Jake just has two. Yeah. Okay. Hostage taker. So I think what like his thinking is now is he can get the scavenger, block Hydra, still take lethal. Two five. Yeah. Two five seven eight. Yeah. Make two thopters. But John John's a fighter. He'll play it out to the end. Hopefully Jake just shows him the coup and puts him out of mercy. All right. Well, you got it has been declared. All right. Well, that was kind of a quick one. That yeah. Was, that was kind of the Not opposite. the outcome I was expecting. No, no. Definitely the reason that these Godfather's Gifts decks got popular, more popular, was because they had a better team or energy matchup than some of the other decks that were in standard. And one of the reasons they're kind of falling off is because of the inconsistencies that you guys just saw. Yeah. Well, the Esper one. The Blue Eye one is definitely a lot more consistent than that. It's more consistent at getting a Godfrey's Gift. It's also easier to hate out, though. It is. Like, sometimes they can just... You try to, like, refurbish a Godfrey's Gift, and they're like, okay, still in your main phase, a Braid. And then you're like, okay, well, hopefully I kept back an Angel so I can, oh, like, hard cast it, I Well, guess? yeah, I mean, there is that thought process. The other thought process is, like, game one, you have a much, much, much better, like, game one. Oh, yeah. You, well, I mean, same with, a lot same more with this Esper, but it's the consistency. Yeah, like the Godfair's Gift, the blue white version, its deck is just Godfair's Gift, Refurbish, good creatures to get back, 
and cycle. If you call all sacred, it is. Ca- sacred cat a uh, good creature, get back. Sacred cat is a great creature to get back. Sacred cat's mm-hmm. probably the best. I was playing aerial responder for a little bit in my version. My card was good. Is that the vampire white hawk? Yeah. Yes. Bring that back as a four four. Yes. Four four flying first or er, vigilance lifelink. It's pretty good. Okay. Well. It's actually right. it's just a four four version of the angel. It's just a cheaper angel. Cheaper when you're getting angel. it back. Yeah. All right. Well, that was it for this round, guys. Uh, well, we'll try and see if we can get someone else up back here on the camera. Um, just so we don't leave you guys hanging. Let's go see if we can scrounge up somebody real fast.